Hey friends, glad to be back today and today I want to reveal the three things that you want to eliminate from your life right now. On today's video, I'm going to be revealing the three things that you need to eliminate from your life to be a healthier and happier version of you. Before I reveal the three things that you want to eliminate, I just want to let you know, some of these are going to be tough to eliminate. Some of these have been ingrained in our life forever. But once we do eliminate these from our life, we're going to have more time and energy to focus on what really matters to take ourselves to the next level in our life journey. The first thing that you want to eliminate right now in your life is worrying about what others think about you. Okay, yeah, it's a big deal. Worrying what other people think about you is something that many of us spend huge amounts of time thinking about, right? We focus on it, we pontificate on it, we worry about it, we wonder, what do they think about me? Do they like me? Do they not like me? Do they think that I'm doing a good job? Do they think that I'm successful? Do they not think I'm successful? Am I really their friend? Am I not their friend? Do they see me as lame or do they see me as cool? How do they perceive me and what do they think about me? Okay, I've spent hours. I mean, if you compiled as many hours as I worried about what other people thought about me, I mean, I'm sure there was like days and weeks and I don't know, maybe for some of us it could add up to an entire year of our time. But what I've realized is unless I can completely mind read somebody, unless I'm completely psychic and I can mind read, I'm never really going to know how someone truly feels about me, right? And then I have to ask myself, does it matter? Because we can waste so many large amounts of time thinking about this that it causes us to have what? A lower self-esteem, a lower self-worth, and it makes us question ourselves, okay? And what I've realized too is that often in life, the people that really matter, the people that really care about us, they're going to tell us they care, and they're going to not only tell us they care, but they're going to show us that they care. Actions speak louder than words. And if you're in relationships right now where there is no actions or the actions is speaking volumes that this person really doesn't care that much about you or you're not that high in the totem pole or they're not really that impressed by you, it's probably time to kind of move on. And what I've also realized is that when we kind of figure this stuff out based on the fact that actions speak louder than words, we don't have to sit there and confront the other person. We just take the time away that we were spending thinking about that person or putting into that friendship and move it back to us and use that time wisely to be more successful in our relationships with our family, even our business or our work, or even if you're going to school to focus more on your studies so that you can graduate with good grades. The second thing that you want to eliminate from your life right now is comparing yourself to other people. Okay, it's a huge time waster huge and I find myself guilty of doing this myself. I'm here to tell you that social media is a huge proponent of comparing yourself to others. It's an actual facilitator for it. Let me explain. Social media, especially Facebook or even Twitter sometimes or Instagram, usually is used to expose or to show people's highest points, the highlights of their life, the best photos, the most fun, the biggest parties, the photos and the videos that make them look the best, right? And many of us look at other people's Facebook or Instagram or other social media outlets and at the beginning we see it and we're like, oh, that's so fun, that's so festive. But usually that feeling turns very quickly and there's a tendency of us looking at those posts and reading more into it. We also have a tendency of beginning to compare their lives to ours, looking at the party pictures that they go to and saying to ourselves, God, I wish I had that kind of a group of friends, or I wish I had been invited to parties like that. That looks really, really fun. Or, wow, look at her car, or look at their house, or look how pretty their family is. All these things that mount up to us beginning to compare ourselves, not even just to the people that are around us on a daily basis, but the people that we see on social media every day. You know, it's interesting because social media is such a proponent of this. Because if we don't really think about it logically, we see what somebody puts on social media as fact, as how they are every day and all day. Their life is perfect. For the women, their makeup is perfect. Their hair is perfect. They drive the perfect car with the perfect family. And everything is amazing. And you know what? That's really not true. But we also have to remember something that's important. There's always going to be somebody that has more money. There's always going to be somebody that has more fame. 
There's always going to be somebody that has more friends, and the list goes on. And so what I'm advising you today in this video is just to recognize when you're comparing yourself to other people and realize, are you really comparing yourself directly to them or are you comparing apples and oranges? Because oftentimes we compare ourselves when we're the weakest, when we feel the lowest self-esteem. We see them and we see how beautiful they are, or how they have it made. And we look at our life and we look at how, well, maybe things haven't been working out very well. Maybe we're not looking at us, ourselves in a high self-esteem. And perhaps we don't think we're pretty or smart or intelligent. And so recognizing when that's coming around and realizing that comparing ourselves to others only makes us feel bad, brings down our self-esteem and doesn't do anything to build us up. Instead, it makes us feel like we're on the sidelines. The third thing that you want to eliminate from your life right now is disrespecting yourself. I've talked before in previous videos about not allowing others to disrespect you. I've even talked about the fact of not defending yourself when you're innocent, when somebody believes that you're already guilty. But in this video, the third thing that you want to eliminate, no matter what, is disrespecting yourself. Many times we overlook that. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, abusive relationship, and the list goes on. When we haven't seen our true value, like the value inside of us, like the cool, awesome, you know, spirit god or goddess, that's inside of us, we have a tendency of disrespecting ourselves, right? So we choose the bad boy or the bad girl in the relationship, right? Perhaps we stay in the abusive relationship, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, or all three. We stay in it because we think that, well, maybe perhaps we deserve it. Or maybe, even worse, nobody, nobody will take us. That this, we're glad and we're lucky to have this person, even though they abuse us. You see what I'm saying? Based on the low self-esteem. We tend to do drugs and alcohol to numb our feelings of worthlessness because we feel like we want to escape somehow. And so if we just drink more, right, we just drink more alcohol to numb the effect. Or if we just take more drugs or pharmaceutical drugs, maybe we'll forget about how we're feeling inside, right? And we do that because we're disrespecting our soul. We're disrespecting our body. And these techniques of disrespecting ourselves, they're not original, Okay, there, a lot of people have done them for a very long time, but they are effective. Okay, and the larger amounts of time that goes that goes by that we're actually participating in this type of self-deprecation and disrespect, the harder it is to get back to where we need to be. So if you're in the moment right now and you're watching this video and you're thinking about your life and you're saying, you know, hey, I might be using drugs or alcohol to numb my feelings. Perhaps I am in an abusive relationship that I do need to get out of, or maybe I'm dating the wrong person that doesn't have the things that are best at heart for me in their heart. Think about that. Because I know in the past, before I realized my value, I had a tendency of choosing the wrong person to date. I had the tendency of staying in the relationship when it was, well, it was ripe, very past its prime, and it wasn't doing anything positive for me except for taking and I've stayed in relationships many times where the only thing that was happening is me losing my self-esteem and losing myself. So I ask you to really recognize in your life where you're making decisions and choices and putting people around you that directly relates to the fact that you don't respect yourself and you're not doing what's right at your highest good. And I know right now you're saying, wow, Ashley, that's a lot to take on. Uh, those three things, it's a lot to tackle. I'm not asking you to tackle all three at one time. But if you can just tackle one beginning today and focusing on that and advising yourself that you're ready to make a life change, whether you want to tackle worrying about what other people think about you, perhaps comparing yourself to others or disrespecting yourself, all these things can really change your life. It's the same as giving up smoking and drinking and everything at one time. It's probably not going to work that way, but you can start with one thing and go from there. What I found is one of the best things to start with could be disrespecting yourself because that really hits us at the core. And if we can recognize when we're disrespecting ourselves and really work on our self-esteem, some of the other stuff will actually kind of, kind of work itself out as well. This will also take you out of any sort of abusive relationships and recognize when you're choosing poorly for yourself. I hope this video has helped you. And for many of you, you've probably already done this type of work. For some of you, it might be time to clean house again. And for others of you, 
maybe it's time to embark on this path to begin to rightfully take your position on this planet to understand who you truly are and to begin by doing what's directly right for you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you know add some comments below this video. I'd like to hear some of the work that you've done to eliminate things in your life that aren't positive and don't lead to your direct success. As well, if any of you have personal stories on how you've been able to stay on social media but limited the amount of comparing yourself to others, I'm interested in actually psychologically how you've done it and then maybe if you've imparted that information to your friends and family as well. In the meantime, don't forget your power. People look up to you. And when you're doing things that are important and successful and going against the societal norms that hold people down, people take note. They'll begin to learn from you and they'll watch as you're truly living your true life.